Hello, grandchildren. Also, happy birthday, Ashlyn. So, a few weeks ago, I decided that it would be a good idea to put a little uh, question asky thingy on the internet so people who are watching my journal entries currently could ask questions for you guys, my actual grandchildren. Because you guys aren't alive right now and you guys can't ask me questions about the way that I think about things right now or to go into more details on a story or whatever. Um, and you won't be alive for a very long time. So I figured I'd give the people who are watching them right now the chance to ask me questions for you. So in, in the instructions, I put a little note teach me how to draw a horse or something like that. I wasn't being serious about that. I was just giving an example of what you could put in the box. I didn't actually think that somebody would ask it. Anyway, Ashlyn, my girlfriend Skylar's sister, thinking that she was clever, decided to put that into the box and ask me to teach you guys how to draw a horse. And I was postponing it for a very long time, but today is her birthday. And I figure if I'm gonna do it at all, might as well be today, so. Happy birthday, Ashlyn. Anyway, uh, I don't know how to draw a horse. I used to draw cartoons back in high school. They were awful. Honestly, if you guys saw them, you'd think that I was just insane. Um, but occasionally, I don't know why I did it, but I would draw horses in those. And um, I don't, you can't even call them horses, really. I can't draw. Um, and they don't really resemble what an actual horse looks like completely. But today, uh, grandchildren, I'm gonna teach you how to draw a horse because Ashlyn thinks that you guys should know how to do that. All right, grandchildren, I'm gonna show you how to draw a horse. First things first, when we're drawing a horse, we need a back. There it is. That's a nice back. Horse backs are great for putting little people riding on them or little bags of meat for the horse to eat later. Now, of course, no back would be complete without a rump, so let's add that in. Rumps are usually pretty nice if they protrude slightly from the body, or at least that's what rap songs have taught me. Now let's complete the rump by bringing it down into a leg. A leg is formed with two vertical lines as such, and then a little squiggly bit at the bottom to, to form the hoof. You can color in a hoof if you'd like. Now you may notice that the rump is pretty empty, and that's because we don't have a tail, so let's add in a tail. Now, of course, a tail isn't complete without a flondel, so let's add in a flondel. The flondel is there so that we know the tail is made up of hairs. Without the flondel, it would just look like a stick coming out of the horse's rump, and that's gross. Now let's connect this leg back to the horse's belly. Have it droop slightly down and be squiggly, and go up here. We can't go all the way because we need to add another leg, so let, let's add in an arm flab like that and another arm flab like that, and then carry it down into the normal horse leg with a little bit at the bottom for the hoof. Now I think we should start bringing the back up into the neck. And of course, horses have ears. Now let's continue the head down onto the snout. The snout is just a little roundy bit at the end of the, the head. Now, of course, we need a little nosy on the snout so it can smell its enemies from far away. So let's just add in a little nosy right there. And let's bring the snout back here to join the neck. Now we need to add in an eyeball. The important thing about drawing a horse eye is that the pupil needs to be right in the center of the eye. Horses never look forward, they can smell too well and they don't need to look forward. Now let's add some more legs because horses never have enough legs. Make sure to include the hoof. Now, horses usually don't express the emotion of happiness, so we need to have a little slight frown right here. This is their neutral face. And finally, a horse is never complete without shottle doddles. Shottle doddles are little hairs that start here at the top of the head and come out slowly larger as we go down. Now, of course, horses can't float. That would be ridiculous. So we need to add in a little ground for them to walk on. There we go. Of course, your horse doesn't need to look exactly like this. You can draw them in different ways. Sometimes I think that normal legs are boring. And if you think that normal legs are boring, you can make them go in interesting directions, like so.
See, the difference here is that now all of the legs are having fun, and that means that the horth is having fun, even though it doesn't show the expression on its face, because horths can't express happiness or joy. You can also add in other accessories if you'd like to customize your horth, such as wavy lines in order to indicate smelliness, or a sweet pair of sunglasses, or perhaps a cigar. Or if you're extreme enough, you can even add in a tattoo. The point is, there are no rules with a horth. Have fun with it. So that's it, Ashlyn. That is how you draw a horth. So that's it. Um, Ashlyn, I hate you. Uh, grandchildren, if you see me anytime in the near future, I think um, we should all find Ashlyn. We should all travel to wherever she is in the world. And um, you guys should pinch her for me just so that's like payback but it's not gonna happen for a really long time which is exciting um and yeah I, 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 yeah I don't know it just it feels like it'll be amusing for me and nobody else but i'm fine with that happy birthday ashlyn um anyway grandchildren I'll talk to you guys in the next entry see you guys mm -hmm.